All right, so the election it might be over. It is over. But political polarization is not. Donald Trump's win over Kamala Harris is leading some liberals who are still upset to cut off ties with family and friends who voted for Trump ahead of the holiday season. Former Democratic candidate for Senate from Ohio, Rick Taylor, posted this on X. My aunt called asking about Thanksgiving plans during the conversation. She mentioned she voted for Trump. I told her my home is not open to traitors and I would not go to theirs. I have no space in my life for those who could care less about the United States. She's upset. Hmm. Doesn't stop there. The divisive message getting magnified by the media. If you are going into a situation where you have family members, where you have close friends who you know have voted in ways that are against you, like what you said, against your livelihood, and it's completely fine to not be around those people and to tell them why. How do we move forward when we know there are people in, you have people in their families who voted for him. They work with people who voted for him. They live next to people who, who voted for him. What, what do you, how do we, how should we deal with those neighbors, coworkers, family members? It means dreamers. It means your family members. It means your, your colleagues. It means your friends. It means people who are part of the society. And look, America, you know, those of you who voted for Trump, this is what you wanted. This is what you voted for. You screwed around and you're about to find out. All right. Uh, happy holidays. Uh, joining me now, host of the Michelle Tafoya podcast, Michelle Tafoya, and the co-founder of 76research.com and host of the Trish Regan show, Trish Regan. Welcome to both of you. All right, Thank Michelle, you. I'm going to start with you. Uh, that sounds like absolute uh, pathetic conversation. These are friends and family. Part of what makes this country great is having difference of opinion. Uh, but yeah. here you have people getting out there basically saying that Whomever voted for Trump must be bad. It's crazy. It, uh, crazy is a good word. Uh, and I have lived through some of this in my own family. I'm, I'm hesitant to say that, but it's true. The Yale psychologist, psychiatrist that appeared on MSNBC with Joy Reid, I, I looked at her website. She describes herself as doctor, activist, researcher, an anti-racism educator. So there's a lot to her personality. There's a lot to her background. She's not just a counselor. I think a lot of honest brokers would say, can you just reach across the aisle? Or could you maybe just say, hey, everyone, happy Thanksgiving. We're not going to talk politics. I think there are so many ways to deal with this. We're just not that fragile. I, I, I don't. I And for that legislator to tell people, don't come to my house if you voted for Trump, like there's no room for you. Right. Um, that's pretty damn harsh. It is. And, you know, Trish, I always try to think, OK, what if things were reversed? What if these were Trump supporters saying this to Democrats? You know, you voted for this person, so you can't come here. That would be twisted around. That would then be racist. That would then um, have all of these isms and attacks thrown after it. Uh, but at the same time, isn't don't talk about religion and politics something we've heard for decades? That's kind of the old yeah, adage. I mean, look, Why this, can't this they whole thing is it? absolutely ridiculous. By the way, it wouldn't happen on the other side. I mean, we went through 2020 and you know what? Conservatives talk to liberals all just fine. Yeah, but I, I'm with Michelle and I don't want to get too personal, but I, I guess this is why my mom hasn't called me back. <laughs> She's watching too much MSNBC. She's been empowered. Do not talk to the enemy. Not even your daughter? I don't know. I, I'm teasing right now. But honestly, this is crazy town. They are crazy people, and they want some kind of war, some kind of fight. And they're trying to basically get their troops all in line. But I'll tell you, it's not working. Did you see the ratings? They're down like 51% over at MSNBC. I saw that. There's talk that Brian Roberts, CEO of Comcast, is going to sell the network. Listen, they got no future with this nonsense, and, and Americans aren't going to buy it. So the more they double down on that, you know what? Good for us. Good for us. Good for us, like Michelle, myself, with podcasts. Good for you with Newsmax, because this ain't playing in Peoria, as they say. <laughs> it's game over. He won. No, Get with the program. Be a united country. It's, and I thought, I thought their side, Trish, were, were the ones with the lawn signs that said, all are welcome here. Apparently not. Exactly. Oh, we're, we're the party where everybody but is welcome. It doesn't yeah. matter what your beliefs are. Uh, apparently, that's not true. want to get to this. 